Hey guys, welcome back. So on the last video, we have seen so many new features of the Android P. So the main thing I really like is this gestures feature. So be sure to check out the old video. Now I'm very excited to try this new launcher that came with the Android P and all the other devices. As you guys know that I really like to have the same interface on all the devices. It comes to wallpaper, launchers, everything. I just want the same on all the phones. With each developer pure build, Google's do try to bring any small or major changes to the launcher also. Compared to the last one, their preview one in which we have seen the complete new 3D type of a dock icon which was more or less transparent and dynamic theme was still there. And this time on the Android uh, P dev preview 2, there, is two, there are two major changes actually on the launcher. So we are going to see how you can install it and all the compatibility stuff. Since it is rootless, that means you can easily install on all the non rooted devices. Supported and obviously. So this launcher is going to work perfectly on the Android Oreo. And I tried to install on the Android Nougat device but somehow I am getting some kind of error. So it could be the case with my device too. So let me know in the comment in which OS you did you try it, it worked for you or not. So let's talk about all these features first. So uh, I tried to install on the OnePlus 5T which is running the latest Android 8.1. So it installed fine, uh, there is no such issues at all. But yeah in case you are wondering you know, is, are you going to get any sort of just just features that were there on the Android P uh, Vita 2? No certainly not because those are uh, OS features. At the initial point of time I was thinking maybe one or two features I should get at least some kind of swipe judges but those things are built into the Android you cannot get that in here. So about the changes, the first thing you can see is the when you long press the home screen obviously you can see there is a new uh, animations there earlier it used to be you know a very traditional way this long press and some kind of home page comes up. Now this is home settings, widgets and wallpaper and inside that everything exactly same you will get this different different feature and under the setting if you don't see like this feature change icon shape so make sure you have to uh, enable this developer option by tapping on this build number inside this about phone. 6 to 7 time. Uh, just reboot the device, you will see this change icon shape will be there. Uh, other than that, uh, you can see the dock area is completely re refined now. There is no uh, dock kind of concept is there. I mean, there, it used to be some kind of 3D, uh, some kind of transparency is there. But now uh, Google is trying to bring some gestures control over to that. So there is no such features available there. And uh, you get this usual glance feature too, like the temperature, calendar, and all the stuff there. Otherwise, uh, since this is a rootless launcher, so you will get this Google Now Swipe features too. And yes, on the Google Now Swipe, uh, this OnePlus 5T is not a non rooted device, so you can see some kind of choppiness is there on this OnePlus 5T. Google Now Swipe. So that you can easily fix by rooting your device and making this application as a system application. All things are exactly the same, like the app drawer will be as a usual. Uh, it changes your background with the wallpaper, some bit of transparency, and the Google Now has a different theme to Google Now Swipe which also changed with the wallpaper too. So rest things are same except these two new major things like this uh, dock area and you have this new effect when you try to go inside the settings. So check the description for the downloading. You can get that rootless launcher on the XT developers forum. The link is there and try to stall on a different OS. Let me know in which device did you try it, if it worked for you or not. Anyway guys, that's your Android P uh, new Pixel launcher, Pixel 2 launcher basically a rootless one. Try to stall it. So thank you so much for watching. This is Saurabh. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video very soon. Till then, have a great day.